I'd like to discuss the topic of transformation, the consciousness of transformation. Um, we are going through a very interesting time on this planet at the moment, and we're seeing quite a lot of chaos. And some people have ideas about that, whether that is um, sort of infrastructures of consciousness falling coming apart, um, making way for the new consciousness, a new humanity. Whether or not you subscribe to that idea, um, one thing is certain. We have tremendous capacity to change. capacity beyond anything that we can imagine at this time. So one of the questions that people have is really how can we change? How do we change? And one of the things that um, we might want to take a look at is is the question of what is change? What is change? What is real change? If you have an answer to that question, then perhaps you're not open to the question. I find in my exploration and in my work that there is profound value to the question and to the state of the question. What I mean by that is every, every point of view, every idea has a quality of consciousness associated with it. And this consciousness is not something that is entirely abstract and unrelatable, every state of being has an experiential expression. So any thought, any idea, any belief, is experiential in nature. And so it is with the question, with any question really. If we want a question answered, we would do well to pose the question authentically. And posing a question authentically involves leaving ourselves open to the answer. It's that state of openness it's that state of consciousness in which one is receptive that I'm referring to. So what is change? Well, perhaps in order to change, we must remain open. What does that feel like to be open? Now, to truly be open, we have to be trusting. We have to have faith that openness is a desirable state of being. Oftentimes we cling to our ideas, we cling to our beliefs out of protection, some form of protection to something that's foreign, something that we do not understand perhaps. But how can we change unless we stay open to what we don't understand? Provided that what we don't understand is a desirable 
uh, is desirable towards change, towards positive change. So let's try something right now. Let's just take a deep breath. And on the exhale, just release anything that's not serving you. Anything that might contain some degree of resistance. And that's something that's also experiential. You can experience resistance within yourself. Perhaps it feels like tension. Perhaps it feels like a stuck, stuckness, a quality of being stuck. Perhaps a quality of solidity rather than openness, perhaps airiness, of being boundless. So these are generally qualities that we enjoy experiencing. Limitlessness is pleasant. It's a desirable expression. That's the general consensus. So can we trust the general consensus enough to allow that state of being to happen at this moment in time? Can you take a deep breath? And can you release anything that's not serving you emotionally or cognitively? Perhaps even physically, releasing tension from your body. And continuing to breathe and exhale. Can we allow ourselves to enter that state of openness, that state of limitlessness. And it becomes to, it, it becomes a state of selflessness. And you may or may not experience it that way, and that's fine. But just allow this moment to be what it is, whatever that may be. How open might we be to transformation, to change, to metamorphosis? What is the necessity of change at this time in your life? Is it necessary for change to occur? And how willing are you to go along for that ride, the ride of change? You're in control of the, the change that you experience. Because this is your life. So rather than take this directed approach to changing your life, which does serve its place, have its place, and serve its purpose, let's take the opposite approach to opening ourselves to our own potential, to the potential of change in our lives. And invite that state of being which is open, which is limitless, which is an expression of potential.
can you experience potential? Continuing to breathe. So at this time, let's invite ourselves to experience change in our lives. To experience a transformation towards what is better. And not towards our own ideas of what better might be, but towards a greater and higher sense of what better might be. In other words, giving over to the idea that there may be something better than we've even imagined. In a way that perhaps we haven't imagined. And let's set the intention for that to occur. So moving forward after this experience, you may or may not find yourself open to new ideas, open to new practices, new types of information and activities experiences that will serve your higher purpose, serve a greater good, and serve in the interest of transformation. Serve in the interest of betterment. Continuing to breathe. This doesn't mean that moving forward that we have to stay in a state of complete openness at all times. But you might consider this a ceremony of sorts, signifying and declaring your intent to truly transform. and forego your own ideas about the form in which that may take. Allowing what may be deeper or higher or more profound or more comprehensive to manifest itself in your life. See if you can feel experientially that state of allowing something greater Can you experience something greater than your own imagination? <sighs> OK. 
Can you wish for something greater for yourself? Are you open to that idea? That you're deserving for something greater than yourself? Perhaps you are greater than you realize. Are you open to that idea? Continuing to breathe. So now that we've made our intention for transformation and change, are you able to get a sense of that state of being? That state of consciousness, if you will. How might it differ from your everyday pedestrian state of consciousness? Your ordinary pedestrian way of being. And can you take a snapshot of this, this moment now, this experience? Remember this experience. Allow this experience to pervade your being. Providing a blueprint, or perhaps a map, back from your pedestrian lives to this state. You may or may not be feeling expansive at this time. And if you do feel that way, does it feel right to you? Does it feel correct in some way? Know this feeling. Remember this feeling, because this feeling is you. We so often fall into the illusion that we are limited. 
that we are small in some way. But in fact, we are limitless. We are expansive. A client of mine the other day had an incredible insight, two insights actually, while I was working with him. His first insight was inner smile. He had an experience of an inner smile. Can you call in that experience for yourself of having that inner smile, experiencing that inner smile? It's effortless. But it is experiential. There is a state of being to the inner smile. Allow yourself to occupy that state of being. And the second insight that he received was embrace the world. And he said, when you put the two together, it becomes an inner smile can embrace the world. And he had an experience of that in the moment of his inner smile embracing the entire world. So let's just allow ourselves to have that experience of our inner smiles so expansive in nature that they can embrace the world. And embrace the world as it is with no need to change anything about it. With no need to judge it Because when we honor what is, then we can allow for change. Continuing to breathe. And now bringing ourselves back to our bodies, back to ourselves, retaining as much expansiveness as we allow ourselves, bring your awareness into your feet, into your toes, wiggling your toes perhaps. Up your ankle, up your legs, past your knees, up to your pelvis, bringing your awareness up through your abdomen, through your torso, past your shoulders, out through your arms, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, wiggling your fingers, and continuing up your torso, up through your neck, up into your head, your face, your ears, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your scalp, until your awareness covers every square inch of your body, simultaneously. Does your body feel potentialized? Do you feel open? Do you feel open to possibility? And open to change? From this point, 
Are you ready to welcome change into your life? Welcome transformation and positive transformation. Just ask yourself rhetorically how much transformation you are ready to receive. How much of the past are you willing to let go of in favor of something better for yourself? Perhaps better for those around you, your loved ones, perhaps better for the world. Taking a few last deep breaths. You may listen to this recording as many times as you like. Thank you for joining me today. This is Hanson C.